So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. I had to throw that in. Fine, you did. You threw it in. Welcome to Full Auto with Professor Rambo and Paul Gordon. This episode, I... Is this called the uh, the no no gun girl the no no girl what the the no no gun, no gun girl, girl becomes, becomes a, a go go, go gun go, girl. girl. I or, mean, how did you screw that up? You're or, a poet, or, or, allegedly, and it's Rimmy Rimey, Rimey Rimey. Right. Or uh, the al- the alternative title is when gun reality hits home. Although I'd say, and that was my original title, but then after I already did the graphic for the show, Professor Rambo came up with a much better title, which is not, which is actually unusual because usually I'm the one that comes up with the clever titles, but he came through today, but he came through a little bit late. So we're, I, I, I say we, we, we dive right into the show because we've got a full slate of uh, stories to cover here. Are you ready? All right, is everybody ready to buckle ready. your seats? Because you have entered a full auto zone. Okay. Dude, you do that like a five-year-old. Congratulations. Hey, you know what? Five-year-olds are bosses, so I take that as a compliment. <laughs> Ohio homeowner to be presumed innocent? That's right. Home defenders could get relief from unjust Ohio laws. You heard me right. That's... That is unfucking believable. Wow, that in the you United the States, F-bomb on that one, huh? Yeah, in the United States of America, you have to prove your innocence. Seriously, Ohio, doesn't this embarrass you just a little bit? Well, what, some kind of third world backwater. And this is the... oh, wait, that's Ohio. Sorry. Well, it's Ohio. You know, they do have their Ohio State Buckeyes there. Uh, so Ohio, they kind of you know. I'm a Penn State fan, so it tells you all you need to know about how I feel about that. So. Uh, an Ohio Senate bill would end the practice, and I think this is noble, of forcing homeowners to have to prove they acted in self-defense. Instead, it would put the burden of, uh, on the state to prove they did not act in self-defense. Well, that's a novel idea. As it stands right now, the burden is on the homeowner in Ohio to prove that they acted in self-defense if they use a gun to defend their home from intruders. And Just a quick question. In Ohio... Um... Do you have to lodge red coats if they come to your front door? Is that still like one of their laws? What, what is this again? In, in Ohio, do you still have to lodge red coats if they come to your door and come a knocking? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, that's kind of where we're at in Ohio with their laws. It seems pretty so, backwards and stupid. So, hey, Ohio, wake the fuck up. It's, so, it's time to change this. So, oh, that's twice now. So in so. the in the six degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon, we've just entered into one degree of separation with this story because the name of the senator is Kevin Bacon. Not no same way. Yes, his name is Kevin Bacon. Not it's not the same Kevin Bacon, but let's pretend it is. What the heck? And and he's a Democrat, right? No, he's a Republican. Oh wait, you mean the ACLU isn't all over this for like? No, no. No interest whatsoever in this. None. No? I, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I, I have no idea. But in this story, there's nothing about the ACLU in this story. I don't know if the ACLU has ever ever tried to undo this. I'm, I'm betting no. I would be willing to bet no. So Senator Kevin Bacon, he has announced a first hearing for Senate Bill 180. It's called. And the name of the Senate bill is Concealed Carry Modernization. Uh, how, how about... Uh, uh, basic right to the presumption of innocence. <laughs> Just how call about, it that. How about the? How about when it was? When did the presumption of innocence enter into the law, the codes of law in the United States? Like late 1700s, early 1800s. Last year. Was it? Well, in Ohio, it hasn't entered yet. Well, yeah, that's true. In Ohio, it hasn't. So they're not really entered. modernizing. They're not you know, modernizing. No. They're they're more like stepping back to the late 1700s to right. come into modern times. Hey, yeah, that thing we did in the 1700s and the whole Constitution. I think Constitution it's time for Ohio thing. to join on to what America is doing. We need to join the other 12 colonies or 13 colonies. Let's hey, we can't it. be we can't be these. Uh, oh, what were they called? Oh my gosh, Ohio was known as oh. 
It's right. time to end the Northwest Territories and join the rest of the colonies yeah, there you go. in their laws. <laughs> yes. It's time. It's time to join the 13 colonies. It's time. 13. I thought it was 13. 12. I thought it was 12. I need newfangled numbers. I don't know what's up. So the, the bill was introduced last month by Senator Senators Joe Euchre and Jay Hottinger. Both of them are Republicans. And they're seeking to reform the state's arcane self-defense burden of proof requirements. That's right. The I wonder burden. when that was enacted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, so uh, uh, the, the are, I'm reading from the article here. It says, and by the way, if you go to iState.tv, you can find all the show notes and all the articles on here. Uh, it's uh, It should be on, on the front of the site right now. Gun Reality Hits Home is the name of the of the, the post. So it, it goes on to say, remember when you were taught that all people are innocent until proven guilty? Well, we already talked about this, so we'll, we'll skip over that. So I, uh, here, here's, here's great, great news for you Ohio fans. And this is why Ohio State football sucks, okay? I'm going to say it right now. Ohio State football sucks. Go Penn State. So Ohio is the only state in the U.S. with this absurd requirement for burden of proof. That's right. Not even California. Or New do. York. Or New York. Or, or New freaking Jersey. New Jersey. Okay? Only Ohio has this law. So, uh, Jim Irvine, chairman of the Buckeye Firearms Association, it has been talked about in legal seminars around the country for years. Talked about? You mean laughed at? Well, yeah, laughed at. Although, if you're living in Ohio, it's... <laughs> You're probably it ain't that it's funny. not so funny. It's not it's not so funny. I, I'd be very nervous if I lived in Ohio. I tell you one thing. You know, we've actually given this advice before. Boy, it man, what do you do? How, what do you do for this? Because the advice is, you know, if, if if somebody breaks into your home and you have to shoot them, uh, you know, you shoot to if you're going to shoot, you shoot to kill. Don't don't mess around. Uh, so if you're not willing to shoot to kill, don't shoot. But if you do and you and somebody dies in your home. The advice is, give him the advice. Go ahead, what? give him the advice. What do you do? You shot somebody in your home and they're dead. What's what? What do you do? Call your cousin Vito and get rid of the body. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Get Vito. Vito has a pig farm. A pig farm. <laughs> just get him in the freezer quick before he starts stinking up the place. I'm talking about pig farm. You just you just rush him right on over to a pig. No, don't ask me. No, I've said too much. But anyway, what's 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 the advice we've given it before? cooperate no no you don't cooperate i mean you don't not cooperate but no you 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 call the police you report a shooting you hang up you don't do anything else oh you yeah wait, wait you for the police anything. arrive you say nothing and you oh. say i will say nothing until I, I talk to my oh lawyer. you want to get serious about this no yeah I, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, okay yeah, well in that serious. case i'm actually serious you call 911 you say there was a shooting uh when the police show up you tell them Officer, I will cooperate completely with your investigation, but first I want to speak to my attorney. And then you shut the fuck up and you don't answer any questions because the world that these cops are swimming in, you don't understand. It's 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 not just the cops; it's the lawyers. It's it's legal speak. You don't know legal speak, so Correct. don't try it. Wait till your lawyer yeah. arrives. Tell your whole story to your lawyer. Your, your lawyer will legal speak it. Yeah. Your your lawyer. <laughs> is a piranha that swims in that pool and will be able to guide you through it without you uh, losing appendages or time of your life. So you don't yeah. want to lose time of your life. No, but, but, but what do you do now in Ohio? If the burden of proof is on you, you fall, I would say follow the same exact uh, instructions. Keep your fucking mouth shut until you talk to your lawyer because here, there, there was a really good case uh, not too long ago that I came across in the news where a guy, and this is something that's happened to me, uh, there was a shooting, the guy uh, told the police what happened, then a day later he remembered something different and told, uh, called the police and said, hey, I remembered something that happened that was different, and then he called again to give them more information and said, look, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. This is what happened because I, my my thought process is cleared. 
and I can I can recall better. And this is absolutely absolutely true. After a trauma, you, you forget all the details, and over time, things come to you as to how things developed. Well, he was then prosecuted for murder because he changed the story so many times uh, that things just didn't add up. If he had just kept his mouth shut and had his lawyer walk him through it and feed the information through his lawyer over time, they could have created an accurate picture of what happened that night and present that to police as a definitive, this is what happened, I as best as I can remember, versus telling him, like, in oh, this is what happened, and he came through, and he did this, and he did that, and I had to shoot, and, this, and I was like, oh, wait. Wait, that didn't happen. I, I remember it a little differently now. And, it, and your memory is not a perfect implement. It changes. And, and you remember and any inconsistency, which Correct. you're probably going to have, any inconsistency will, will hang you. I think we're done.